The deadline to buy your yearbook is May 14th. That's just eight days away. The price has increased in almost 12 years. The high school book is $65, while the middle school book is $30. Go to jostens.com to order yours before you regret not buying it. Attention students and staff, the BHS Spring Blood Drive will be Wednesday, May 12th in the high school gymnasium. If you would like to give blood and have not signed up yet, come see Mrs. Elser or Mrs. Notham. You must be 16 years or old to give blood, and if you are just 16, you must have a form signed by your parents. You must have a new form signed each time you can give blood until you're 17. You can get this form from Mrs. Nothan or Mrs. Elster. Please help save a life and give blood. The English department has received a donation of over 300 science fiction and fantasy novels. If you're interested in this genre, the books are free to anyone interested. Stop by to Mrs. Hoover's or Mr. Fisher room to get a chance to look through and pick out what you would like any time before the end of the year. Youth-led program groups will meet again this week on Thursday, May 6th during the AA classes. This will be announced in the morning on Thursday, so you'll report right away during your AA class time. We are focusing our group efforts this year on increasing mental health awareness and improving the climate of the school, where students feel safe, supported, accepted, and welcome. All students are welcome to attend. We meet in the auxiliary gym. Please join us. See Mrs. Reinach, Family Care Coordinator, if you'd like more details. Email her at areinach at bryantschools.net or stop by her office in the library. There will be Girls Open Gym today from 3 o'clock to 4.15. If the track team moves indoors due to rain, we will have the open gym at the elementary building. This is for girls in grades 6 through 11. The varsity baseball team defeated Fairview last night 5-3. Nolan Kidston threw six innings while Titus Rohr and Clayton Rupp each had two hits. Brian is now 8-11 on the season and will host Clay on Thursday at 6 p.m. The JV team lost to Fairview 3-1. In sports action last night, the boys tennis team picked up their school record 18th run of the season and 11th shutout beating Rossian 5-0. Jay Fortner remains unbeaten on the season along with the duo of Hess and Brown. Dylan Koenig picks up his second varsity at second doubles with Craig Jackson while Aiden Andrews and Micah McCashin won in singles. The softball team defeated Rain Trace last night 6-0. Addie Arnold went to the distance on the mound, giving up two hits, while she also had three hits at the plate. The girls are now 19-1 on the season and play Thursday at home against Tenora. Only you can make it a great day. I am the greatest that ever existed.